Hey you guys, I'm here in Vientiane, which is the capital city of Laos. But my journey began more than a thousand kilometers away when I hopped on board the brand new China to Laos railway in Kunming, Yunnan province. During my journey, I've met a woman who is trying her best to turn a small border town into a city you guys will all know in the future. I also met a local who learned how to build railways in China and a man who devotes his life to dealing with the aftermath of thousands upon thousands of unexploded bombs left all across this beautiful country by the USA. I'm Andy Borham here in Vientiane, Laos. This is a special edition of Reports on China. This is Laos, a small country of 7.2 million people in Southeast Asia. As you can see, Laos is landlocked, meaning it doesn't have access to the sea. It's surrounded on all sides by Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, Myanmar, and of course China to the north. That geographical difficulty and the fact that Laos is littered with 80 million unexploded bombs dropped by the US has stimmied the country's ability to develop, leaving it one of the poorest in the region. The tide has started to turn in Laos's favour, though, after China helped build the country's first railway, connecting its capital city, Vientiane, with Kunming in southern China. That's where I got on board, eager to visit Laos for the first time, to find out how this railway has changed the lives of locals and started transforming Laos from land-locked to land-linked. My journey will take around five hours from Kunming to Bortin, a small border town just metres away from China. Then we'll travel another 150 kilometres to the historical city of Luang Prabang, a huge part of which is literally a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Finally, we'll check out the capital, Vientiane, right on the border with Thailand. All up, a journey of 1,000 kilometres through gorgeous, wild terrain and bomb-littered wasteland. Okay, I've made it to the first stop inside Laos on the new China to Laos railway. This city, Bortan, is really interesting because even though we're in Laos, most of the people here speak Mandarin Chinese. Why is that? Let's go figure it out. Bortin is a special economic zone that was only created back in 2003. This place has an interesting history despite its young age, once being a lawless gambler's haven where loan sharks took their customers hostage, prostitution was rampant and smuggling went on unchecked. Today it's a different story. The current population is about 6,000 and they all seem to be working on making this place into something special. Well, this is a gorgeous golden structure behind me is actually the Bortan Border Inspection Station. It's a road, and if you keep going just 200 metres, you'll end up in China, which really goes to show how much of a border city this is. Now I'm going to meet a Chinese woman. She's actually been living here for five years, and she's working hard on developing this city. Let's go meet her. Hey, Wang Xiaojing, right? Hello, you're Andy. Ah, yes, yes. Hey, you're Andy. Hello, Andy. Hello, Andy. I'm finally waiting for you. Can I take you to the tour? Yes, yes. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Wang Xiaojing is a key figure in the Laos Bolton Special Economic Zone Development and Construction Group, part of the reported US $10 billion development of this small, unknown city. So, we can go to Kunming to the airport. Yes, that's right. We have to 所以的话呢，它是中国对接整个中南半岛的人流、物流、信息流、资金流汇聚的平台——莫丁，嗯、所以它它非常重要嗯。嗯，第一个产业板块是国际商业金融会展产业。哎，对，这个这个部分、嗯。那这个部分的话，我们现在目前已经有差不多五百家企业已经入驻了。This huge scale model, which shows how Bolton will look in about ten years, was definitely fascinating, especially for a visual learner like me. 但 I couldn't help but feel Xiaojing was speaking with her business hat on. I wanted to get out of the showroom and find out her personal thoughts. Now, you've been here for five years, right? Yes, I've been here for five years. 
。我的天哪、啊！那五年之前这里怎么样啊？五年之前吗？这些都还没有。然后，然后像这些楼、高楼都没有。哦，因为他他们正在建，对吧？对，正在建。五年前的话呢，这一片区大部分都是山包。那山如果当时没有什么，你为什么要来这里啊？因为我觉得这个呃，就也是发展趋势。嗯、哦。呃，我们一国家的一带一路发展趋势就在这里。而且的话，我觉得在，因为我本身就是做房地产这一行的，我就是一个卖房的。啊、哦呃。所以的话，我觉得。你看到了个机会。我看到了很多的投资机会会在这个地方。那您觉得那个中老铁路开通之后，会对这个地方、对这些这这边的本地人会有什么影响呢？呃，在通车之前的话呢，大家过来就比较不方便。但是通车了以后，大家可以从昆明去万象，就直接坐火车就可以过来了，嗯、过来旅游了。然后老挝人、泰国人他们也可以坐上火车去中国旅游了。那这个就真真正正的意义上实现了，就是互利、互惠、互通的这个这个原则了。She also took me to one of her favorite parts of the city, the secluded lake, which will soon be one of the hottest natural attractions of Wotan. Come, Andy, I'll give you an introduction. This is our Modding Lake. This lake, on the top, is quite big. The lake is surrounded by mountains. The lake is very close. 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 哇，跟跟那些一样、呃。对，里面还有很多鱼。哦、啊这个、可以钓鱼吗？呃，目前暂时不可以垂钓、哦，要保护它的生态。那可以、呃。但是里面的鱼就是我们会有专门的人去垂钓，呃，有罗非鱼啊、马丁鱼，很好吃的，很天然的。哦、嗯。Well, you really do get the distinct impression that this is very much a border town. Not only because most people here speak Mandarin Chinese, but also when you look around, every single sign is bilingual with Chinese and the local Lao language. I don't think this place is one many people would choose to stop off at on their travels, but I really do recommend it, especially in the future. I think this place is going to be something very special. สบายดีสบายดีอ่าอ่าขอบใจไปไป Okay, it's time to leave our first stop, Orton, and jump on the next train to Luang Prabang, a trip which used to take an entire day and can now be done in less than two hours on the new train. This marks the beginning of my travels on the Laos part of the railway, which stretches 409 kilometers from here to the capital Vientiane. Some quick facts for you. The maximum speed is 160 kilometers per hour. There are currently 10 passenger stations and 22 freight stations along the route, which passes through 75 tunnels and over 167 bridges. The railway was built by China with the total cost of just under US six billion dollars, 60 percent of which was funded as part of the One Belt One Road infrastructure initiative, which this year celebrates its 10th anniversary. The journey across the Laos section now takes less than four hours, as opposed to 15 hours before, drastically opening the country up for the transport of people and freight, and connecting Laos to the outside world by rail for the first time ever. Luang Prabang is probably one of Laos's most famous tourist destinations. With much of the town designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, my first stop, though, is Supanavong University, which has partnered up with the Shanghai Institute of Technology since 2017 to teach Laotian students how to build railways. I'm meeting Di Jia, a Luang Prabang native, who is one of those students. Oh, that's quite good. Hey, that 之前你是去上海学那个铁路技术了吗？对，我是学过了啊。啊，你学学到了什么内容啊？啊，我们学到就是那个我们专业是铁道工程，然后可能学到那个隧道啊、桥梁啊这些的。所以你一到那边的话。
会中文吗？啊、呃，开始的时候是从那个我们老挝这里都没有学过啊，啊，只是到那个啊、呃、上海那里就是。我是从零开始学的，然后就慢慢学，然后就会了。然后到现在已经那么流利，啊，也没那么怎样，很厉害，我觉得挺好的，挺好的，谢谢啊，<笑>不用谢。<笑> While on campus, I thought it would be a perfect excuse to chat to some locals about the China to Laos train and find out their thoughts. Nan Tavan is a senior student majoring in economics. Traveling in Laos now is much more convenient after we have the train, and it takes short time. Traveling in our country is more than before, and after we open to China, tourists from China is come to Laos a lot. So that might increase our. Profits and gain more tourists. I think in the end of this month, I will going to Kuming, so I, I will try the train. So I am so excited for this. Soma Pad San, an assistant professor in the English department, also feels the future for Laos looks brighter now that the China to Laos railway has been completed.、Uh, actually, in the past, before the before, I would say that in the last decades. The, Uh, before we de-、uh, developing the, the high-speed railway systems,、uh, Laos could not uh, uh, export the products easily as today. So now,、uh, as we have seen that after the completion of the, the high-speed railway systems, we can export our products through that export to、uh, Europe or other parts of the world. Ooh, DJ has offered to take me to dinner. And share some of Laos's delicious food. Wow, 看起来很丰盛。我觉得我最期待是这个老挝香肠啊，就是我们老挝特色的。就跟这个一起吗？对，是跟这个一起啊。好，我蘸一蘸。好好好。会辣吗？对，这个辣辣就是辣一点一点。嗯，可以吗？不错，很好吃。好好。你最想吃哪个？嗯，就是这个。啊，这个就是那个啊、哦，对,、哦对嗯，就是那个我们老挝，看起来很新鲜，嗯，然后，嗯，挺好的，啊、嗯、好，干杯，好干杯，<笑>这很漂亮，嗯。After that, he insisted we visit the local night market, which is packed with local handicrafts, souvenirs, and clothing. There, I found a stall selling trinkets made out of aluminium salvaged from the 270 million cluster bombs dropped by the U.S. in a secret operation headed by the CIA from 1964 to 1973. During that nine years, the U.S. dropped more than 2.5 million tons of bombs all over Laos, which, on average, totaled a plane load of cluster bombs and other munitions every eight minutes. 24 hours a day for nine years straight, making it the most bombed country in history. One third, or around 80 million bombs, remain unexploded, just waiting to kill or maim anyone who walks too close. That hideous bombing campaign of a country the U.S. was not at war with, which has killed or injured over 25,000 and still kills 50 a year, was orchestrated by the CIA. Without the knowledge of the American public, I've come to the Luang Prabang Unexploded Ordnance Center to meet with a man who spent the last 21 years dealing with the aftermath. <laughs> เป็นหัวหน้าสร้างงานโครงการเก็บเลือดแห่งศาสตร์ประจำแข้งโพบังตั้งแต่ปีสองพันสอง
ฮอตปีสองพันสาสิบ His work mainly involves education around bomb safety, helping to clear bombs to make room for farmers to work the land, and offering support to victims who have been injured. He showed me around the museum they've set up, which features a picture of President Obama's visit in 2016. The people here, I think, uh, you know, are deeply interested in engaging with uh, Americans, despite the really challenging history. You know, during the Vietnam War, we bombed Laos more than probably any square inch of earth uh, anywhere. Despite his words of regret, Obama did not extend an official apology to the people of Laos. Meanwhile, many here remain in a state of limbo. การเฮ็ดยูเฮ็ดกินนี่ก็จะยุ่งยากมีความยานอ่ายานอ่าทางห่างไกลยานทางจิตใจพอยานจะมีนะคนหายข้องระเบิดอ่าตามมาเป็นต้นเป็นการอุบัติเหตุอ่ะเสียชีวิตอ่ะตายผ่านมามันก็มีหลายคนอันยังมีความยานกลัวอยู่แล้วก็มีความรอคอยจากโครงการเข้มกู้เท่านี้เพื่อไปฮอดไปทึ่งโอ้อันนี้เห็นมายังมีนักน่วงตัวนี้เกี่ยวกับปัญหาเรื่องระเบิดเนี่ยเพราะว่าผ่านมาทุกมือนี้เกี่ยวกับอุบัติเหตุต่างๆที่เกิดจังมาเนี่ยกลายเป็นว่าเป็นพ้นการทําการผลิตอยู่30กิโลเมตรจากนี้คือ Quangsu Waterfall อีกหนึ่งที่ต้องเห็นถ้าคุณมาดูลวงพระบังเป็นที่สำคัญที่ต้องเข้าไปในการจัดการที่สำคัญของชาวบ้านเพื่อชาวบ้านเป็นที่สำคัญที่ต้องเข้าไปในการจัดการที่สำคัญของชาวบ้านเพื่อชาวบ้านเป็นที่สำคัญที่ต้องเข้าไปในการจัดการที่สำคัญ To give food offerings to the local monks, they're not allowed to prepare their own food. So locals making such offerings is also a chance to get some good luck, and sometimes share a prayer with a monk. Now it's time to head to the capital city, Vientiane, which is currently the last stop on this line. It's about 300 kilometers away, and will take about two to three hours, depending on what kind of train you're on. Vientiane has a population of around 700,000 and is home of the country's government, as well as Laos's most important monument, Patat Luang. A gold-covered Buddhist stupa, which is recognized as the symbol of the country. It's here that I'm meeting with Suk Sakon, a journalist from the Vientiane Times, who's been covering the China to Laos railway since it was first announced. I heard that you're covering specifically the China to Laos railway. So, how long have you been covering that for? I have been covering about the Lao China Railway since the early stage, 2010, when the Lao government proposed the, about the project to the National Assembly, which is the Lao Parliament. And have you been on the train yourself before? Ah, uh, yeah. My first time is when, when I accompanied the uh, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs oh, wow. for the testing of the, 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 the railways to Duong uh, Nam Tha, mm. which borders China. So how did you feel like when you were on the testing stage? You must have felt like pretty proud, or yeah, yeah, of course. In Laos, it's, it's in, it's, it was the first high-speed train. Uh, in Laos, yeah, it's kind of you know it's really interest, interesting to you know you you never seen communities in mountainous area mm. that uh, were not accessible in the past, but now they are they are seen. I'm at the recently built Vientiane railway station, meeting with Du Zhigang, operations director of the Laos China Railway Company. He's Chinese, but now calls Laos home. 
这里的设计也是跟中国的高铁站一样嘛？对，跟是一样的，对，一样的。Oh. <笑> Like most railway officials, Mr. Du is keen to share some statistics. Zhongluo Railway Line opening at 8th April 2023, has reached 299,000 passengers. The average passenger number is 4,831. The highest day. But I was wondering what the most challenging aspect of the whole project was for him. For the railway, Zhongluo is a basic basis. There is no 铁路法律法规，没有铁路配套的基础设施，社会上也没有啊相应的铁路技术工人。老中公司也招聘了大量的老挝籍学员，经过中文培训、理论培训、铁路的理论知识培训，呃，现场的实作培训。现在呢，这些铁路的技术人才啊，都到中老铁路工作了。我们也解决了这个。社会上缺少人才这个问题，这个是个非常美丽啊，自然美丽的一个国家，很自然的。你看那边，而且老挝人也是非常朴实啊，老挝人非常朴实，非常善良，非常淳朴。嗯嗯，跟他们合作是挺好的，是吧？哎呀，跟他们合作是非常非常融洽啊，嗯，挺好，嗯。So, as you can see, the new China to Laos railway has already transformed the prospects of this small Southeast Asian country, and truly turned it from land locked to land linked. It's been eye-opening visiting three cities along the route and hearing stories from so many people whose lives this train has touched, in one way or another. We've all seen how much high-speed rail has helped rapidly develop China over the past few decades. And now it's time to extend that development to Southeast Asia and beyond.